Okay, so pen's ready, paper's ready. I'm ready to do my thing. We're just gonna do our thing. Let's start with this one. So... I don't, I don't even know, even know where to start. Now, if you have absolutely no idea where to start when it comes to reverse coloring, there's a few things to help you get started. Look at the painting that's in front of you, pick a spot, and try to think about what that particular thing looks like or resembles to you. The first thing that I noticed was those purple blobs, and it reminded me of mountains. Boom, snow-capped peaks. And then I thought, what's a mountain without a river going down it? So I drew a river. And then I got to thinking, this river looks kind of lonely, so let me put some bushes next to it. And before I knew it, I was constructing me a Bob Ross-style scene. This is actually based on a psychological phenomenon called pareidolia, where we see recognizable shapes in things like clouds, rock formations, tree branches, toast, and in this case, paint splatter. Think of it as another way to unlock the right brain and see past something for what it is into something that it can be. 